Hi, welcome back. My name is Michelle and you're watching Michelle's Life. I may lose my voice at some point. I've recently recorded like five videos and this is like the second to last. Oh, I'm kind of dying, but I wanted to film this one because I don't normally do top five Wednesday videos, but I really liked this topic. So of course this is a top five Wednesday video. Top five Wednesday was created by Lainey over at Ginger Reads Lainey, but it's now hosted by Sam from Thoughts on Tomes. I'll leave all of those links as well as the Goodreads link down below if you want to join up. So this week's topic is the top five books on your wish list. As a person who avidly watches booktube videos, my wish list is constantly growing. So I have multiple different wish lists on multiple different sites. I have my wish list over on my overdrive where those are the books that I, I want to get to from my library. I have a wish list over on Amazon that I want to buy. And then I have a wish list on my Goodreads that I kind of just want to stay aware of those books and not forget about them. So for this, I'm going to go with my Amazon wish list. I'm going to put these in order of desire. <laughs> so number five is The Smell of Other People's Homes by debut author Bonnie Sue Hitchcock. I heard about this book through the debut author challenge and through Caitlin over at Book Chats. I'll link her channel down below. It takes place, or most of it takes place in Alaska and it's written as a literary fiction but in the YA genre and that sounds phenomenal. I would, I love books that focus more on characters and people and the motives of people. So I really want to get to that one and the cover is gorgeous. <laughs> Number four is The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss. I did give The Name of the Wind only four stars. I did really enjoy it though and I love the conversations that I had with other people about it. So I do want to continue on and get the second book. Um, it's It was definitely nice to dive into that dense of a fantasy. I, I really enjoyed having that much world in my hands in the 600 pages and The Wise Man's Fear is I think over a thousand. So I would like another month where I just dedicate the whole month to that book and it just sounds really good. So I would like to continue my journey with Quoth through his more senior years. <laughs> Number three is Jane Steele by Lindsay Fay. I originally heard about this book when I started watching Joss over at Squibble Reads. Her review of this book was phenomenal. It was the first review I ever watched by her and I was blown away. So I definitely want to get to it. Next month I'm reading Jane Eyre with Kayla and then I think we also might be reading The World, uh, the Worlds of Ink and Shadow which is about the Bronte siblings. And then maybe the following month I might try to read Jane Steele who, which is based on Jane Eyre with a murderous twist. I heard recently from someone else that it's not really based on Jane Eyre but the main character Jane finds a lot of similarities between herself and the character. So I like stories like that too where characters identify with other literary figures. I think that's really cool. So I'm really looking forward to reading that one. Number two is Arcadia from Ian Pears. Pears? Pears? Um, I recently heard about this one on somebody's channel. I can't remember right now, but it sounded phenomenal. Again, it's one of those books that's identified as a, a book for book lovers and it sounds really good. So I don't really know much more than that, but I saw it in someone's first chapter challenge tag video and the way that she reacted after reading the first chapter, I'm very interested. And number one is A Fire and Stars by Audrey Colthurst. This book is not yet released, <laughs> but when it comes out, it is going to be purchased right away. The only reason why I'm currently holding off is because the author keeps tweeting about extras she might be putting in with her book. So I want to hold off until I can get those said extras. But this is a female female romance story where a girl is being married off to a king or prince and she winds up falling in love with his sister. Enough said. I know a lot of people are interested in this and I will definitely be buddy reading it with my friend Jody, and I can't wait. It is definitely my number one most anticipated wish list book out there. So anyway, that's it for this top five Wednesday. I really love talking about books that I want to own because I don't own enough already. Just kidding. My TBR pile is out of control. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. Bye!